This is Deborah Nakamura, and you're watching Heart of Japan. It's 5:30 a.m., and I am in our garden. I'm in search of treasure. It's a bounty hunt, and I would like to bring you with me. A few days ago, I learned about dokudami. That's a plant that's considered to be somewhat of a weed in Japan, but in Japan's history, it was a treasure. And I'd like to find out why. I came with my bicycle, and I've got nippers. I've got a basket. And I've got gloves. I'm also in my grubbiest clothes. This represents a part of our plot, and I pretty much harvested everything that was here, but I've been able to find a few, few this morning, and I'm hoping to find more. If not in this location, we'll have to go elsewhere. Uh, here's one. Because I did harvest a lot of it yesterday, there's not much here, but it's like a treasure hunt. Uh, I found another one. Not looking good. I'm interested in not only the leaves for tea, I dry them for tea, but I'm also interested in the flowers for making a skin spray. I just found some in a hedge that's not too far from our beans that are drying up. So we're going to harvest those now. Before this week, my eyes were not open to this plant. And now look, just from this hedge alone, I've been able to fill the basket to overflowing. You never know what hidden treasure you can find in obscure places. And indeed, this is a hidden treasure, I believe. It grows very heartily, even in shade. But now is the season to harvest it because now is the season when your body needs it. And later on, You'll not find this plant growing like this. It's amazing of all the places you can find this dokudami. This is another hedge, and I see it peeking through. Had I not seen the little white flowers, I probably wouldn't have noticed it because everything's green. But the plant itself, it's, it's kind of a reddish, and when the vine is really uh, grown, it's more of a reddish color, such as this. The flowers are cute. I like them. But it's all in here. I'm not going to cut these because this is along a small little road, and I prefer to get the plants that are most likely not damaged. And I think that the person that has this area tends to use a lot of sprays on their plants, so I would rather not have any uh, sprays, but it looks very nice.
amazes me is just a few short days ago, I didn't even know this plant existed. And now I find them everywhere I go. It's amazing. And I didn't know the importance of it. Um, no one told me. It's not like it's on the forefront of Japanese culture today. But I hope to bring back a knowledge of this important plant and what it can do for you. And like me, if you open your eyes, you can find it everywhere you go.